So we're here today with uh, Dr. Claudia Aradau from King's College London. Um, and we're very happy to have you here at the Centre for European Security. Um, we'd like to talk a bit today about some recent developments in critical security studies um, and why critical security studies will continue to matter in a, a changing world where we see calls for returns to realism, returns to problem solving type scholarship. In, in your opinion, what do you think have been the major developments in critical security studies in the last years and how do you see it continuing to be relevant in the years to come? Uh, thank you very much, first of all, for the invitation. Um, it's been an extraordinary couple of days <laughs> here in Prague. It's, a, it's quite a big question, so I'll try to answer it from my position, in a sense. So I see particularly development around questions of methods, so this, the idea of critical methods, and basically the question of extending the forms of critical theorizing that we've seen in critical security studies to methods. So mm -hmm. what do we mean to bring methods back into the critical debate and what kind of understanding of method would we have? How do we approach methods mm -hmm. and methodology? And what does this mean for the politics of method as well? That's one side, one, one debate that I see developing and I think um, it will probably continue to develop uh, you know, over the follow next years. Another debate, I would say, has been sparked by engagement with materiality and relations between discourse and materiality and how we engage in um, critical security studies with stuff, matter, things, objects out there, all sorts of devices, technologies, how we revisit both the critical engagements that we've seen in surveillance studies and in other um, you know, sociological approaches to security practices, uh, but also how we combine that link that develop new insights by engaging with debates in new materialism, for instance. And I think there's an interesting debate that's been going on over the past few years. On the one hand, you know, engaging with these debates in new materialism, but also in actor network theory, in social studies of science, and, and so on. And I think in really interesting ways what we see is somehow another side to that debate or another perspective where critical security studies are starting to think about what critical security scholars can bring to this debate rather than the, rather than the other way around. So I think there's really interesting discussions emerging around, again, maybe questions of methods and what would it mean to do laboratory studies, ethnographic research in security studies, you know, to do that kind of research in a highly secretive mm. field. In security environments, In security yes. environments. So I think some of these are really, really interesting questions. But I think another important question that critical security scholars bring to this debate is the question of politics and the political engagement with these practices. Um, so I'm sure we'll see, we'll see more work coming out and probably, you know, the debates going in quite different direction, who knows. And I also see a conversation that takes place now between security, critical security studies and if you want emerging fields or new fields, critical war studies, critical military studies. And I think that there's room for really interesting engagement exactly to address what you call the turn to realism. Because I think we do need, we need more critical engagement with practices mm -hmm. and more conversations between these fields. And to me, I'm, you know, I'm looking at these practices in um, quite a general way. One can say, thinking how, you know, critical theorists can actually both understand but also disrupt and intervene mm -hmm. in these practices in, in different ways. And that, for me, that concerns. Um, what I call, you know, taking inspiration from feminist work, a continuum yes. of violence. So I think that what we need to do is actually to work more together to address the continuum of violence. And I think here again, you know, engagements with feminist security studies, with post-colonial security studies, of which mm -hmm. I'd like to see more, yes. um, would be really, really interesting to, to develop further. Absolutely, yes. I couldn't agree more about the need for um, critical engagement with strategic studies, with um, realist versions of security and so on. And particularly, I think that's important in the context of the 
uh, the situation in Central and Eastern Europe at the moment, as we see in the European Union's neighbourhood, and calls for going back to old theories to understand seemingly uh, returns to the back to the future kind of visions of the world. Um, so I think there's definitely a role for critical security studies in that. There's so many things I would like to pick up on from what you what you said. Um, perhaps just to choose choose a couple. Uh, the turn to materiality, and indeed, yes, things, what can things do, what is the ding politic of security, and how do we understand our relations to things. Um, we also see there's a role for understanding uh, architecture differently in this term, and materiality through actually uh, affective spaces and affective materialities, and that might be something we would think would also be a development in the coming years. Similarly with space and territory, how do we do critical territory? How do we actually understand relations to territory with geographers bringing in different ideas from that? But what do we give back as critical security theorists indeed? Uh, I think are all very interesting points here. And particularly in Central Eastern Europe where the critical study, security studies scene hasn't been as developed, but we're really starting to understand what it can bring to um, our understandings of how Central and Eastern Europe is situated in the world and how it relates to the world and how we relate to, to security politics. And that's perhaps where I'd like to drive the next um, 